It's a weak little thing. Uh, uh oh, it used Giga Drain? What's going on everybody, it's Inferno here with another Pokemon Uranium video, and uh, last time for those of you who uh, weren't here, we managed to defeat Baron, the Dragon type Gym Leader, that's great, and because of that, if you look right next to the Festus's name, you'll see that there's a Mega Evolution symbol. That's because we got the Archilleseite and the Mega Ring, so now we can Mega Evolve, which is, you know, that's great, we can Mega Evolve Festus. Now, and there are a couple of Mega Stones actually in one of the bags. Uh, I think it's in items. Yeah, if we get a Drilgan or a Baryodite, which means, you know, the second Taurus, we can, you know, Mega Evolve it again. Alright, so, we, we did that. We defeated, uh, shoot. Now I can run. Alright, so here we are Theo and Professor Bamboo. Inferno, I flew here on my PJ as soon as I got the phone call from Theo. Well, it helped that I was already in East Tandor. I was catching some waves, er, doing important field work, that is. So it's true. You managed to defeat the gym and gave me the power of Mega Evolution. Yeah, and Inferno, I battled on top of a mountain. It was awesome. Wonderful. Goodness, it's been so long. Look how much you two have grown. I remember when you were there in my lab for the first time taking your trainer test. And you weren't very happy about your result, Theo. Yeah, don't remind me. But now I'm glad I have Metal Nix. And we were able to use Mega Evolution together. Yeah, and I, you know, I killed it in one go. Indeed. As you know, Mega Evolution was discovered recently in the Kalos region. It involves the reaction between a Mega Stone held by a Pokemon and a Keystone, like the one on your Mega Bracelet. This reaction was made possible by the bond that you and your Pokemon share. There are several... Tandor Pokemon capable of Mega Evolution, particularly the starter Pokemon that I gave you. In order to evolve them though, you will need to find their Mega Stones. Those are well hidden around Tandor, and I can't say exactly where you'll find them. It's a treasure hunt, sweet! Yes, that's exactly right. Now then, if you're going to be encountering Mega Pokemon, I'll need to give you both an upgrade to your Pokedexes. Sweet, a Pokedex upgrade. Wonder what it gave us. You'll now be able to record data on all the Mega Pokemon you encounter. I look forward to your findings. Now then, what more can you tell me about your adventure? What? You visited Larkspur's lab? And his thugs ambushed you and... Oh dear, oh dear. That's insane, Inferno. I can't believe that guy would go so far. I should have warned you. When I knew him in university, Larkspur was always used Sclerperus. He'd go to any lanes to get recognized, and he didn't care who got hurt in the process. I'm glad to hear you managed to break free and get your Pokemon back. You and Garlickid make a good team. I'm glad you found each other. So, Pruff, where are we got where are we where do we go now? Oh right. Well, you're almost finished with the gym challenge. Only one gym remains, and it's in Suganami Village, to the south of Vanessa City. Unfortunately, that stretch of ocean is a battleground of pirates and ninjas. The pirates are a growing threat here in East Tandor. It makes traveling the seas very difficult. Not to mention, the East Tandor nuclear plant is near Tsukinami as well. I'm worried that whatever, or whoever it was that caused the meltdowns will strike again. I ain't afraid of no nuclear Pokemon, or you should be. Yes, I imagine you two can take care of that yourselves. I'm just being cautious, that's all. Plus, there are some Pokemon there that you will need to complete your Pokedexes. They are rare Pokemon and found only at the bottom of the sea. In order for you to find them, I have these HMs for you two. We got dive. You know, I would have really liked to fly instead of dive, but no okay. Uh, sweet. I can't wait to find some awesome Pokemon on the ocean floor. Plus, I hear there are legendary Pokemon that live there too. Yo, are, are you serious? We can encounter a legendary Pokemon? I'll take dive then, yeah. I can't express how proud I am of you two. I know that you will only impress me more as time goes on. I'm tired of standing around. I'm going to go to Sukadami and get my 8th badge. Okay, there he goes. Forgive me, but I must be off. I'm doing research on nuclear Pokemon. The Tandor Rangers are trying to find a cure. Since it's an elemental affliction, I think I can help. Remember, if you encounter any nuclear Pokemon, if you encounter any nuclear types, catch them for me. I'd love to study them back at the lab. And Inferno, I know you're strong, but do be careful. The last nuclear plant in Tandor is to the west of Sukinami. 
I'm worried that whatever caused the other plants to melt down could strike again. And look out for Theo, alright? Whoa! Oh, it's PJ. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that bastard. He can fly. That's not fair. I want to fly. Okay, so. Slows can't even handle me right now. Alright, so I guess we're off to Tsukinami Village. And if we look at the map on our Pokepod. Oh, it's way, it's a ways off. We have to go through here. We have to go all the way back to Vanessa City. Hey, we can stop by the Tipsy uh, Tenku, and that's, that's actually pretty good. You know, I'm wondering if we could go back through Masquerade Channel and head back to West Tandor, perhaps. We go through Vanessa City, through Masquerade Sea, through Masquerade Sea, and reach Tsukinami Village. And... Here's Nuclear Plant Omicron, the one that, uh, the professor warned us about. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. We have to go through Lanthanite Tunnel. Route 6, what's here? Oh, the Silver Fort Town. Jesus Christ, okay. And I guess, you know, we're gonna just trek our way back. Great. Isn't this gonna be fun? Alright, there's the Pokemart. Let's buy a couple of Super Repels. Two Super Repels. Alright, let's get on out of here. <gasps> you wouldn't, um... You wouldn't happen to, uh, take me over to... I, I, you're a traitor. Yeah, I can tell by looking at you. You wouldn't happen to take me over to Vanessa City, would you, in that nice little boat? Listen, I've been uh, sailing these oceans since I was a wee lad. As of late, there's been an ill tide. You might have heard, but there be pirates in these waters. A frail old fisherman like me doesn't stand a chance against them. But with a strong trainer on board, I reckon they'll leave us alone. Are you perhaps heading to Vanessa City? I'd be more than happy to give you a lift there. Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Anchors away, you scurvy landlubber. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I blew it. Yikes, it's a- oh shit, <laughs> it's a pirate. I was planning to steal all your Pokemon while you were at sea. But then me pirate cash free slipped out. Guess we gotta do this the hard way. Give me your Pokemon or you're gonna be whacking the plank. I hate my pirate accent. Guys, please don't unsubscribe. Alright, cool. A Volicard and Swabone. Hey, Marvin has Levitate. Volicard is a ground- is a poison type. Swabone looks like a ghost type. What if we were to beat them up to death right now? Nice. Oh, look at that. Mega Achilles. God, that's just so cool. Earthquake. Great, it knocks out Volicard. Perfect. Oh, Marvin has Levitate. Perfect. Yep, yep, I already said this. And Swabone. Almost dead, almost dead. 921. Shadow Ball, knocked it out. Awesome. Good job, both of you. Chads. Ooh, Hagros. Or would Earthquake. Because that thing looks like an electric poison. And then we can Psychic. Ooh, you sucker punch. Oh no, you sucker punch. Ooh, yikes. Critical hit. Um. Hey, can you die? Perhaps? Super effective, that's great. Amazing, in fact. Marvin, not affected. Die. See ya. Pirate Jack. Arg. Silva's gonna be mad at me for this. Mark my words, landlubber. You ain't seen the last of Pirate Jack. Anchors away. Alright, so long, loser. Excuse me, I watched you battle from afar. That guy was a pirate, right? I thought he might be. Normally, the Black Flag pirates don't stray this far north. They're getting more rowdy as of late. Anyways, I want to thank you. You showed him a lesson. Hopefully, he won't come sniffing around Silverport again. If there's anything I can do to thank you... Oh! I can give you a ride to Vanessa City on my boat if you like. I would love that very much. That would save me a lot of time. What do you say? Yes, please do. Thank you. I could heal up... I could heal up here in Vanessa. Sweet. Alright, let's heal up. And, uh, let's swap out 
Let's actually swap out some Pokemon. Um, right, right after we buy a couple more theme of boobers. Uh, what are these? Carrot wines, right? Yeah. These are pretty good. Oh. Never mind, actually, they're not all that great. But, uh, we'll, I, I'll still take a couple just in case. You know, because these heal for 100, which is, you know, a bit more than half health for most of the Pokemon. And, I mean, it cures status, so it works as a kind of a weak full restore. So that's pretty good. Okay. We've got repels. We've got uh, Pokemon. Actually, let's um, let's switch out uh, Hephaestus for <clears throat> Jean, Cassie, Jean, Jean, Jean. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go with Jean. All right, great. Uh, now, oh, Route 14. That's a new place. And uh, Theo did say something about, uh, what was it, legendary Pokemon? So, if I, if I can, I would very much like to save my encounter for sad legendary Pokemon. Hey, are you a trainer? Whatever, let's go. Oh, you're a trainer. Always be on your guard in the ocean. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. A Myla. A Myla. Shrimpity. Uh, cool, look at that little thing. Oh my god, that's adorable. Kill it in one shot. Chad. Awesome job. Alright, Glavinug, Glavinug, you are an ice type, so I'm gonna send out Marvin. And, uh, Thunderbolt, because I don't want you ice beaming my grass dragon type. So. Um, it used protect, great. Alright, now, you can't use protect again, great. And, oh, you're level 40! Sweet! Um, these are trainers I could have previously fought, what, weren't they? Titan Ice. You could switch into someone. Uh, let's go into Clark. Clark's pretty cool. Uh, Drain Punch. I'm sure that wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Alright, great. Super effective. Titan Ice had it as its energy drain. Great. Amyla, you were ready. You seem trustworthy, so I'll give you my number. I only do that for people I like. Ooh. Cool. That means I have someone to train against, finally. Uh, the only person was like 20 minutes away in East Tandor. Hey, you. You guys, yeah, you guys, you guys are trainers. That's great. i will just, uh, you know, knock out your Pokemon real quick. Uh, Corsola. Oh, Cor that Corsola is gone. Giga Drain, Corsola, and Marvin, you can Psychic the Elect the Elitux. You're good. Hey, that's gone too. That's pretty good. Oh, Electuxo, Ele Electruxo, and Corosif. All right, Giga Drain the Cor the Corsa Reef, and just use Psychic on the Electruxo. You know, I really like the designs of these Pokemon. They're so nice. The the Electruxo looks just like so clean and smooth and slick. It's just great. Love it. The same goes for Hephaestus and Metalynx. And the fact that they took the time to animate these things as well, instead of just static, uh, images. Oh, yikes. It, mm, dang. Well, I guess you're gonna die. Oh, uh, and that means I have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Well, if that's how it's gonna be. Uh, Gene's level 51, so that's amazing. Arr, where? Uh, there's a dive spot, who cares, let's go another dive, oh, we have to dive, okay. Uh, great. You know what, since we have to, uh, progress, we might as well teach Cassie, yeah, Cassie's the only one that can, we might as well teach Cassie dive. Alright, forget Hydro Pump, I guess, 
Right, Surf is still pretty solid all around move. Recovery, recovery. And you know what? Let's actually put a uh, Cassie in front. And uh, oh, actually, there was a dive spot up ahead, wasn't there? Yes. Let's go down here. See if there's anything new to explore. Cool. Cool. A move, Brian. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, trainer. Hey, you've interrupted my solo dive time. Diver Perch. Sent out Lob Vent. Woo. Dad, that's... Yo, that Pokemon looks sick. Yo, it's all 55? What the hell? That thing's stronger than my entire team. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay. Well, it's a water... Fire type? Probably. So... Epic, it's normal effective. Um... Hey, that thing is really strong. Lava Plume? Hey, I'm not gonna die from that. Alright, cool, cool. I'm not. Great, that would've been... Jesus Christ, I don't wanna think about it. Alright, Lava and Fainted. Healed up a little bit. Alright, cool. Well, um, obviously everyone is really strong. So, what if we don't fight anyone? No, we're gonna have to, aren't we? There's a person right... Fine, alright, whatever. Crash! That's the sound Coral makes when it shatters. Cool. Came in, sent out Brainior. Damn it! I had really hoped that I would not never have to see you again. Brainy, or let's go into Marvin. You know what, buddy? Psychic doesn't do shit on me. Uh, use Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, knock it out. Oh, well, I mean, hell, that's a really good amount. Aqua Tail. That's a really good amount. Hey, nope, I don't like that. Why did you switch out? Why did you switch out? Uh, can you kill? Oh, <gasps> a crit, Marvin! You absolute Chad! You critted a tub of real, thank you so much! And you're level 52. Look at that special attack. Damn! Brainior. Literally die to this Thunderbolt. Oh my god, super effect. Amazing. Ancient power. It's a rock type move. What are you gonna do? You hate to see it, Shadow Ball. Awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you so much, Marvin. You're great. Marvin, 2100 HP, XP. Corosif. Corosif, you could send him Gene. Let's send him Gene. Alright. Uh, Giga Train. Four times effective. Very good. Hell, one hit KO. Diver Cayman has been defeated. I've been crushed. Hey, you're pretty strong, so I'll let you in on a secret of mine. Sometimes you can find rare items and shards by breaking up old dead corals. Plus, it helps revitalize the ecosystem too. I'll give you this TM. Make good use of it. Ooh, Coral Break. That's a... Uh... Is that a move made for this game? Uh, here. Uh, Coral Break. User creates shockwaves to attack the target. It does physical damage. Um, is it like Psy Shock where it's based off your special attack? Uh, yeah, it is. It's slightly weaker than Surf, but it does physical damage. That's super cool. Oh, thank. Nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's go this way. Uh, anything over here? Yes, there is. There's a Pokemon. Rain Dance. Oh, well, that was kind of useless. Alright, let's go here. Sure, we'll fight you, whatever. I went diving for treasure, but instead I found a trainer. I forgot to heal up. That might be bad. Mario sent out Krivolver. Ah! <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Krivolver, that thing's straight up got a gun in its hand. Oh, that's great. That's... 
That's just hilarious. What's mud pump? Uh, it used hydro pump. We should be fine. Please tell me we're fine. Cassie, ta Cassie, that doesn't look like it's fine to me. You don't look very fine. Oh. Oh. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. That. Now that's good. Yo, that is great. In fact, hyper potion and please don't die. Yeah, you. What the hell? It's a fire type? Surely, it will die to a surf. Yo, a water fire type! That is... Sick! That is so cool! Crevolver! 2000 experience... Yo! Cassie's 51! Sirentide. Well, I mean, surely it's another water type, right? So we could send in... Marvin, we could still sell it in Marvin. We could just, you know, heal him up a little bit. Serentite. Oh! Cool! No! I didn't want- I didn't mean to attack! Oh god. Oh god, no, Marvin, please, please, Marvin. Hang, hang on, just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh. Marvin. My heart- th I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, Hydro Pump only has 5 PP. And you've almost dealt half- my health. I don't like you one bit. Miss! It's got a 20% chance of missing. Miss! We're gonna hyper potion again. You know what? Maybe this is why my games take so long. Because I don't train properly. Oh god. Okay, Hydro Pump? It missed! It missed! That's great! That means I can Thunderbolt! Can you land a crit again, please? I don't want this battle to go on longer than it has to. Oh, it paralyzed! That's just as fine! Hey, you Parahax! That's, that's, that's so much better! Oh my god! Thank you! Okay, we're gonna heal up real quick. We're gonna just heal up for a quick moment. Hyper Potion, we are running kinda low on those. Great! Great. Now, we already got that. Uh, now there's a dive spot to resurface, but is there anything else down here? Repels effect were off. Let's use another one. Oh, there's a Pokemon. Super Fang. I mean, not the worst move, right? It instantly takes away half health. And this is the end of the line. So... Let's see, if we go up here, this is the previous, the early surf spot, dive spot. Alright, let's go. Our Pirates? Avast, ye filthy land lava! You've run afoul of the buck flag pirates! Surrender your Pokemon, or we'll sink you to the bottom of the ocean! Arr, wait, 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 wait just a minute, I, I know this one. We battled outside of Silverport. You lost to this kid, Jack? Well, they're, they're stronger than they look. Jack, this is why you're only a Swabby. If we can bring the captain some strong Pokemon, we'll definitely get a promotion. Maybe even a ship of our own. Listen, kid, you might have beat my partner, but there's no way you can handle both of us together. Face it, you're outnumbered. You should surrender now, or we'll sink ya. They're a tough one, that's for sure. How about ye? The Black Flag Pirates, Jack and Silva, will send ya to Davy Jones' locker. Um, cool. Cool, cool. I don't like where this is going. Uh, Bullet Card and Swabo. Okay, we've bought these two before. So we can Mud Bomb Volicard and Shadow Ball the Swabo. Will it die? Yes, it will. That's great. That's good to know. It's a weak little thing. Uh, uh oh, it used Giga Drain? Cassie, I am going to switch you out immediately. It didn't kill. It didn't- Oh! God, no. It's going to switch out into winter. Yes. Okay. And then Marvin will Thunderbolt the Tubbereel. 
Okay, it you a card. That's... Oh, man. I should have... Maybe tried Shadow Balling. Hmm. Okay. Marvin used Thunderbolt. That's great. That means Tubbereel will get half health at least. And Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail Winter, that's cool. I, that's not cool when you deal that much damage. Okay, Winter will heal herself up. And Marvin will... Marvin will Shadow Bone the Swabo. Shadow Ball the Swabo. Okay. Winter, restored. Shadow Ball, Swabone. Swabone should be gone. We managed to... Yes, we managed to knock out the other one. This one, too. That's good. 250. Great. Tubba Reel is just used Thrash. Oh, that's... That's just kind of strong. Volicard is back. Winter... Will... Oh, God. Winter, Winter, Winter. Okay. Hyper Potion? Hyper Potion on Winter. Right. And Thunderbolt... The Tubber Reel. Okay. Tubber Reel is gone. Tubber Reel has fainted. Great. Great. Tubber Reel fainted. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, did it use Drain Life? Either way, that dealt a lot of damage. I don't like that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. Skella Rogue. Oh, someone's dying. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. We're gonna heal up Winter. And we are going to Shadow Ball the... Skele Rogue. Okay. Winter, healed up once again. I don't care that Volicard is healing up. That is fine. Oh, but we knocked out the Skele Rogue in one shot. That I am so happy for. Okay. Marvin, experience. Winter got drain lifed. That's fine. That's that's fine. Okay? That's fine. We're fine. No worries. Now, what will Winter do? Winter will... Okay. It's using drain life. So, I could swap into Hephaestus. Right? So, Giga Drain... It has Giga Drain and Drain Life. Drain Life is... Uh... A new move. Damn it. Okay, but... It's... A lot like... Giga Drain. So... Go into Hephaestus. Because it's definitely not water. It's not ice. It's not grass. It's not rock, either. So... We can go... Into Hephaestus. And Marvin... Can... Thunderbolt it. I think it's a flying type. Okay, he used Drain Life. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Not really. Not really. That's not really cool. Okay. A half health... Okay, we Mega Evolve. Is, is, that, is that your final Pokemon? No, you guys have one more. Okay. Okay, we Mega Evolve, and we Earthquake. And then... Thunderbolt, the Volicard. Okay, alright, that's great. Volicard, fainted, gone, bye. It doesn't affect Marvin. That's good. That's great. That's great. There was no target. That's fine. Hagros. That's the last Pokemon. Now. Mega Evolve. I because apparently I didn't. We Earthquake. Then we Psychic. Oh, there we go, there we go. Mega Evolution, baby. That's the good stuff. Okay, drought. Sunlight turned harsh. Oh, what did it do? What did it do? I looked away for one second to look at outside. Uh, it didn't kill Marvin. That's good. That's good. Uh, Hagros. Hagros is gone. Hagros is gone. Let's go. And Earthquake doesn't affect Vestas. Great. 
Jack and Silva. Both of them defeated. Great. We lost? Jack, you idiot! This is your fault! My fault! You're the one who thought this training would be easy! Ah, the captain is gonna like a bunch of years of this. We should get out of here. Quickly, or else we might run into... A ninja! Ninja? From Ninjago? Ganon, you are trespassing on our sea. Pirate scum and not allowed so close to home village. You shall pay the price for threatening our boss. Surfing Ninja, strike! Hey, uh, I know we fought before. We are sorry we would not arrive sooner, boss. Pirates close to the village. It is bad sign. We must report to our elders. Boss Inferno is strong and noble. You shall be welcomed in our village. In Sunina, in uh, frick, I can't talk. In Sukinami, we have our house. Please, if it is your, to your pleasing. Ninja, away! Oh, oh, that's right. I remember the surfing uh, ninja episode. We took down like their boss. If not that episode, the one after. And I kind of ascended to, you know, God. So that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Super potion. Might as well use the uh, the last couple. What's over here? I don't want to continue. What's here? A pokeball. I guess we're gonna have to continue. Endure. That means we're halfway there. Whoa, we're halfway there. You too. Please don't copy strike me. Sukinami Village. Oh, we made it. We actually made it. Okay, there's nothing up here. Repels effect wore off. We'll use one more super repel. Just in case. Okay, I am so happy that these routes are, you know, short ish. You have arrived. It is as we were told. You are welcome to our village. When you are ready, the master awaits you in his dojo. Oh, ho 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 ho. Tsukinami village. The bright, shining moon reflected by ocean waves. Tsukinami village. Yo, a Daikatuna. Okay, here. At any given moment in this village, there are at least 10 ninja around. You just can't see us most of the time. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, what's in here? This is a house. It's a couple of ninja dudes. This one's name is Chunin. I ride the waves. Now, our glorious leader wishes to create an era of peace and prosperity. That will be hard to do with pirates knocking on our door. I ride the waves as swiftly as the wind. I am Genin. The Pokemon Slidine is my secret weapon. We are descendants of the Nami clan. Our secret is mastery of the waves. That is why we surf. Hello, I am Ronin. The Wave Clan is like my family. In the ancient days, the Nami clan ruled all of the East Tandor Sea. Now, the ocean is a haven for pirates. Perhaps things would be better if we were to gain control again? Perhaps ninjas seem a lot more noble and you know, better than pirates. I am the one that is called Junin. I attack by throwing Phryni like knives. Wait, come back, you guys have two dialogues. Our former boss, Hokage, is upstairs. Since losing to you, he has dedicated himself to training. He wishes to surpass you, I think. Well, uh, tough bet, because I'm going to be training the hell in between now and next episode. Oh, ninja. Why do we wear black all the time? Well, because it's cool, though. Plus, you can't tell when it gets dirty. Oh, there's a lot of houses, huh? Wait, is this a gym? Legend Museum. Treasures and artifacts of cultures long ago. It's kinda cool. Hello, and welcome to Tsukinami's Museum of Legends. Here we are dedicated to preserving the history and culture of civilizations of Tandor Long Past. Um, 150 for entrance. I will be back in a bit once I find, you know, the Pokemon Center. And I talk to a couple more people. Ooh. My house has many extra rooms, so I converted it into a hotel. Please be respectful of our guests. Oh, there's three of them. You know, I, I'm still gonna go ahead and find that Pokemon Center, and then I'll return back to this one shortly. Oh, there's a Pokemon. Last resort. Cool. Yo, what is that? Statue of the Great Yadagaryu. Oh, is that like some sort of legendary? This statue depicts the Pokemon Yadagaryu, 
It is rare and sacred to the ninja clan. Only the proven are allowed to train them. They say Yadagaru has the power to summon thunderstorms at will. That's why it's called the Stormbringer Pokemon. I, I, I want one. That sounds so cool. Rare foods and treasures from far as the wind blows. You can buy them here. Oh, Pokemon Center. Sweet. And Pokemon Park, right next to it, too. Alright, Pokemon healed, and you know what? I'm thinking of, you know, exploring a bit. Yikes, it's night time. Hey, you're a person. All I need is this badge, and then I'm ready to face the Pokemon Gym. The Pokemon League, the gym is really tough. Oh boy, that means I better train, huh? Because, I mean, if my Pokemon level 50... Yeah, I, I, I fought level 55s. There are so many different fighting styles practiced here. I have years of training ahead of me if I want to master them all. Another Daikatuna. The statue of a Daikatuna, at least. And there's a dojo. Oh, what have I done? Secret technique. Barehanded blade. Chop! So you have arrived at last. Please, be welcome to my dojo. I am known as Grandmaster Yoshitaka. He who has mastered six arts. And you are Inferno, the one who defeated my disciple, Hokage. I can see you are quite strong already. Yes, indeed, you are the one I am looking for. I am known as Master of the Six Arts, Endurance, Attack, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. Those are the core principles of the Six Arts. In my years, I have taken many dis dis disciples. Of them all, there are six ninjas which have attained true mastery of their art. These six masters have left Tsukinami Village. Now they travel across Tandor, each teaching the ways of their style. I have summoned you here to ask you of a favor. You, who have journeyed so far, who seeks to become even stronger. In my old age, I have gained a certain clairvoyance. I can tell that something is coming. The village will soon be in danger, and I need to gather my disciples together again. But my duties keep me bound here, to my dojo, that is why I am asking you. You must journey to them and deliver a message that they are needed. We got a letter from Yoshitaka. Do this, and you will become an honorary member of our ninja clan. I will teach you my secret technique, and you will earn the right to use the sacred Pokemon of Tsukinami, Yatagaru. But bear in mind, some of my disciples, they are stubborn and proud. They will need you to prove yourself to them before they agree to return. From what I hear, you are quite a strong Pokemon trainer already. I believe that you have what it takes to earn their respect. Thank you, Master. I will start your journey the next episode. Because obviously I'm not done talking with everyone. Look, there's an old dude right here. This village holds the brightest shrine to the gods in all of Tandor. It also serves as this town's Pokemon gym. Hello, lady. There is nothing like watching the serenity of the ocean at night. The gentle reflection of the moon and stars. It soothes this soul. <laughs> Hundreds of years of work. Actually, let's see what we can buy from here. Hello, hello, I see rare delicacies from all over the world. Uh, what, what do you got? Coconut milk? 50 and cure status. Okay, that's half of a carrot wine. Which heals 100 and cure status. And 200 and heals the status of one Pokemon. Uh, we've already got a, a good amount of carrot wine. Alright, thank you. You, what about you? What do you got? Yeah, I see you are a trainer. I sell items to give your Pokemon an edge in battle. Let's see. Ah, choice. Oh god, they cost 15,000. Okay. Band attacks. Oh, I don't want to buy a band. Scarf for speed, specs for a special attack, but you're locked into a move. I don't want to buy any of these. Focus Ash, Endura 1 hit KO, Focus Band, may Endura potential KO. Expert Belt, uh, boost super effective. Life Orb, boost attack at the cost of health. Flame Wards, inflicts a burn. Toxic Orb, inflicts. Poison, scope lens boosts critical hit ratio, wide lens boosts accuracy, zoom boosts critical hit ratio. Oh, if it moves after. Cool, I don't want any of these. I'm not very into competitive VGC, so... Are you a Pokemon collector? Surely you are searching to capture them all, yes? These items will help you with that. Ah, Pokeballs, Love Balls, Lure Balls, Heavy Balls, Moon Balls, Fast Balls, Level Ball, Friend Ball. That is all. That is all the balls. Level ball, lower level. Most Pokemon are lower level than me, so I'll grab five. Alright, cool. Uh, what's up here? Tsukinami Holy Temple and Pokemon Gym. This is the Pokemon Gym. 
I do not know what I should do. Okay. Next episode, we are definitely going to be doing the... The Tsukinami Ninja side quest. We ninjas are working our image. The whole mysterious and deadly thing doesn't make for great PR. Let's go into the... Let's look around here for a bit. I hope it doesn't, you know, start up any cutscenes or anything. Please don't touch the exhibits. Many of them are priceless antiques. I can't believe the Vanessa Theater is over 200 years old. Well, it's no surprise that they hold such traditional views. Still, it's great to see the modern generation bring fresh generation. Map of Tandor 200 years ago. Can I... can I see? The Tandor was ruled by a feudal system of government, with constant battles between Tsuki and Nami over territory. Tsuki and Nami? Oh, cool. Tsuki ruled much of the mainland in West Tandor, while Nami controlled the islands in the east. The kings of these clans demanded taxes from their people under their rule. However, the rulers were also known to be patrons of the art. This is how the tradition of theater began in what it is now Vanessa City. Traditional weapons used in warfare between the ninja clans. This spear was made from a metal metalinx tail. It is thought that poaching for use in weapons and armor is why metalinx are so rare in Tandor today. What about the other ones? What about uh Achilles and uh, Electruxo. Under the old kings, only the nobility were allowed to raise Pokemon. Any peasant who was caught training Pokemon was thrown in jail or sentenced to death. I can't even imagine what life without Pokemon would be. It sure would suck. I would know. I don't have any Pokemon. It used to be that no one could challenge the clans for dominance over the sea. Sure, it was a time of violent war, but they also made sure that merchants had safe passage. Now that the clans are gone, there are pirates everywhere. Yikes. Model of a Nami clan longship. To control the seas and islands around the region, a clan needs to be powerful armada. A cl the clans needed a powerful armada. These ships were packed with cutting edge technology and weapons. They all harbored armies of battle Pokemon equipped for ocean warfare. What's this? What's that? Fine, redesign. Traditional war helmets of Suki and Nami clans. Helmets were often made to resemble Pokemon such as Luchabra. These were used in battle to give the wearer an intimidating look. What do you think happened to the people who lived in Baikal Rainforest? Do you think they just disappeared? Stone carving by the indigenous Baikal tribes. Not very much is known about the indigenous group that lived in the Baikal Rainforest. They predate the Suki and Nami civilizations by 300 years. However, they vanished from the region due to unknown reasons around 400 years ago. All we know about them was learned from observing the artifacts and ruins they left behind. Man, I really want a Yatagaru. Where can I catch one? Uh, I want one too. The Stormbreaker Pokemon. This rare Pokemon is sacred to the ninja clans. It can summon storms at will. It is often depicted fighting with Koalith. Hmm, Koalith. Lysher, Ly the Earthshaker Pokemon. This Pokemon struck fear into early Tandorians by causing earthquakes with its massive tails. One particularly fearsome one was called the Beast of 1000 Horns by locals. Gentle, protective, yet so powerful. The perfect Pokemon. Yo, these two Pokemon are sick. You want to know how to catch Iotis and Mutios? Haha, <laughs> listen, have you heard of the Pokemon Ho and Lugia? Latis and Latios? Xerneas and Yveto? Reshram and Zekrom? Those are all aspects of the two great spirits. Don't believe me? Ask the gym leaders, Hinata and Kaito. They are the mortal avatars of the gods, after all. What the hell? Iotis and Mutios. The gods of Tandor. Aeotus and Mutios are worshipped all over Tandor in various ways. Some say that they are Pokemon, some say they are spirits without form. These are accounts of them taking on avatars and granting powers and visions. That's so cool. Everything's so cool in this thing. This scroll depicts an unknown legendary Pokemon, some sort of bird. After our clans came together, we built this museum to commemorate our culture, and then we expanded to other cultures around Tandor. What the hell? Yo, these look sick. Hey, what are you looking at, mate? I'm not here. Uh, I'm not here for any malarkey. You got it? Just looking at some big statues. Definitely not gathering evidence for the captain. Nope. Uh, yeah, no, that sounds very suspicious. Aita Tao, the boiling wrath. This mighty serpent is perhaps the best known of the three legendary sea creatures. Due to a famous shipwreck that happened 45 years ago, 
A freighter went missing and turned up several weeks later with its hull partly melted off and not a single soul on board. Many believe this to be a sign that Baita Tawa had emerged from hibernation. However, scientists have still not been able to locate it since then. Leviathal, the Frozen Spear The second of the three legendary sea creatures. It had a deadly sharp ice horn on its head. There are records which show it was in the possession of the Suki clan for a period of time. When they lost possession of it, their empire fell apart soon after. It is thought to still hibernate with an icy cavern on the ocean floor. Yo! Krakenau, the Vengeful Maelstrom. The third and most feared of the sea legends, Krakenau would use its many arms to drag people to their watery doom. It is spoken about in children's tales and nursery rhymes. It was controlled by the Nami clan. It would create a whirlpool big enough to sink a battleship. Records talk of it being slain in battle but there are rumors of, of it being slighted in more recent times. A Kraken, a Leviathan, and a god knows whatever the hell this thing is. Yo, these Pokemon are sick. You know, it, I wonder if post-game we're able to get them. Alright, well, that's gonna be all the, all the time we've got for this episode, guys. It's, um, it's quite long. This is a pretty long episode for me to edit for you guys to watch. It's gonna be painful for everyone. I, well, I hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of, you know, whatever. But, but next time we are going to be, you know, gathering the six great leader dudes from Tsukinami Village. So, there's that to look forward to, if you consider that something good. Ah, <sighs> well, uh, damn, it's been hell recording this episode. It's been months, literally. Alright, well, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, I guess. Hey, I hit 110, you know, sometime in the past two months, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, thank you all for watching, really. It's, uh, you know, kind of fun to make these episodes. And, um, thank you all for watching. Yeah, it's great. Um, see you in the next episode. Adios.